Hello, hello, and blessings. Okay, so I am in the library and I'm trying to do a video without being in a quiet room. So we'll see how long this lasts. Hello, this is Nisha. Happy Tuesday. Actually, it's two days since um, my special day. I had a birthday. <laughs> it was a blessing. It was such a blessing. And when I think about my actual birthday, I remember the story about me being two pounds, two ounces, and the doctor not thinking that I would make it. And I actually had my last rites prayed over me because they thought I was going to die in the middle of the night. But here I am, thankful, grateful to see a new day. Actually, I just ushered in chapter 56. Ooh, ooh, that is a blessing. That is such a blessing to me. And I thank God for um, blessing me to be able to see it. And so while I was doing my Bible study slash video research, of course, I'm always looking for how I can encourage, um, encourage, help a woman keep their baby, realize how special their baby is, and to not abort because abortion is no longer an option, okay? Abortion is no longer an option. And then I was reading Psalms. Let me pray. I think it's because I'm in this library. I'm like, ah, somebody's going to walk by. But it's kind of cool. I tested the volume already, so I know the volume is good. Father, I thank you so much for this day. It's a beautiful day. It's a chilly day, but it's a beautiful day. Sun is shining, and it's the day that you have made. So I am definitely rejoicing and being glad in it. I pray for all of my subscribers, and I pray, Father, that you will bless them in every way imaginable. You know what their needs are. I pray, Father, that this video will fall on good, good hearts, receptive, good soil, where... Maybe they're not in that situation, but they can encourage another woman or someone who is in that situation to keep their baby. I bless you, I honor you, and I glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So, um, my birthday was November 17th, but on November 16th, the Bible um, devotional that I was reading happened to be Psalms 127 and I love that psalm and it was funny how it said well the key point the whole thing is really good but the point that I wanted to bring out is when it says behold children are a heritage from the Lord the fruit of the womb is a reward like arrows in the hands of a warrior so are the children of one's youth happy is the man who has a quiver full of them they shall not be ashamed but shall speak with their enemies in the gate I like to look at different versions because it helps you to understand um, what the Lord is saying so I normally switch up between New King James um, message version and the Passion Translation which I absolutely love and the Passion Translation actually says children are God's gift children are God's love gift they are heaven's generous reward Children born to a young couple will one day rise to protect and provide for their parents. I love that. Happy will be the couple who has many of them. A household full of children will not bring shame on your name, but victory when you're when you face your enemies. For your offspring will have influence and honor to prevail on your behalf. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it even more so when it says children are God's love gift. 
they are heaven's generous reward. I love that. And then children born to a young couple one day will rise to protect and provide for their parents. You know, we always talk about, um, we always talk about legacy and heritage, right? Our children are our legacy. They're the ones that are going to take care of us. They're the ones who are going to, in our old age, see about our well-being. So I thought that was so great to bring up because a lot of times when you're faced with um, an unplanned pregnancy, you're just looking at that unplanned pregnancy not realizing that there's a bigger picture that goes with it. And it might be an unplanned, and that's the funny part right there. It might be an unplanned pregnancy for you, but it's not an unplanned pregnancy for God. God knew. God, who is all-knowing, all-seeing, he knew you were going to be pregnant at that time, in that season, at that moment. And it was his pleasure to bless your womb to be able to conceive a baby because he knew what he put in you to be able to take care of that baby and to raise that baby to give him glory so when i thought about the scripture that i wrote that i read huh, and then i thought about my own life and how i was a love gift to my parents and even when it came to a point of maybe me not living, that that would have been such a tragedy, just like how abortion is a tragedy for the unborn baby. The, um, abortion is a tragedy even for God because he greatly grieves abortion. And those are things that... Um, it can be prevented, but in the event you do end up pregnant and it is an unplanned pregnancy, I really want to encourage you to keep your baby because it is a gift from God. And at that time, it might seem like something you can't do, but it is a blessing. It is a gift and God is going to protect you and see you through the whole pregnancy when I had my kids I was a very young mom actually I had my younger daughter at 19 I didn't even turn 19 yet mm, yeah I was 19 and I had no clue I was not around family and it was just me and my younger sister actually and we lived with a family not even our family with a family <laughs> and um God see, saw me through it. You know, my daughter is now 36 and actually has a six-year-old son. So um, what I thought was, oh my God, what am I going to do with this baby? It turned out to be a huge blessing for me. My daughter is an amazing young woman. Her son is just an amazing grandson. And... God gets us through it, you know, so where society is telling you that it's okay to abort a baby, the Bible is telling you no, God is telling you no, you know to yourself that the best thing is to just parent your baby and get through the obstacles, I know they're true obstacles, but God is a God who provides. God is a God who protects. And he always puts the right people in your path at the right time. When I was pregnant, let me tell y'all this story real quick. <laughs> I left home. I actually left home while I was, oh, let me see. I think it was seven months pregnant. I left home when I was seven, seven or eight months pregnant. She was born in February. Yeah, I was eight months, seven months, I was seven months pregnant, okay, 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 we got the point, <laughs> I left home, and I didn't know where I was gonna go, I'm telling you, I left, it was a really bad situation, and I thought about raising my daughter in that situation, 
And I was like, okay, Lord, well, you're going to have to do something with me because I'm leaving. And I left. I packed my bag and I left. And I went to sit in a park. I'm thinking about it now. I went and sat in a park because I didn't know where else to go. But I knew the situation was so toxic that I could not stay there. And even with that, I just kept held holding on to the love that I have for my daughter and her safety and knowing that anywhere was better than where I was at the time. And sure enough, I had called um, the Covenant House. It's supposed to be for runaway teens and no answer. Can you imagine a shelter not answering? Okay, so did I also say it was like two days before Christmas? <laughs> Snow on the ground, cold, and I'm there with my little duffel bag and a big belly trying to figure out what's next. Aside from the fact that so many different things happened, but I knew it was God. I knew it was God. There was a guy who came and sat in the park and he sat there and he just talked to me and he was like, are you waiting for somebody? And I was kind of like scared. And I was like, yeah, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. And he was like, oh, okay. And he just sat there and sat there. And I was like, okay, when is this man gonna leave? And then I thought about it and I said, okay, let me leave. Cause it was starting to feel a little weird. And so I walked away and I called, I made a phone call. And I called my sister. And that night, the Lord sent me somebody to come and get me, to take me to somebody else's house so that I would be safe. A couple of days after that, actually on Christmas Day, I visited with the same family that came to pick me up. And they ended up letting me stay at their house. I'm only telling this story to show you that God, God provides. No matter how bad the situation is, no matter how unsure we are, He knows His plan. You know, we call it an unplanned pregnancy because it's not what we planned. But God knew it was going to happen. And He knows the provision that He has for his children and he knows that he wants these babies to come into the world to live out their destiny and the purpose that he has for them so he saved me my baby was born into a loving family that really loved us and looked after us and here she is 36 years later making me a grandma a proud grandma She's an amazing woman. I have two amazing daughters, and they're my legacy. They look after me now, honestly. I can call and say, hey, what you got for your mama? You know, and they'll make a way for me. So I am definitely, truly blessed. Um, yeah, he knew. He knew the baby was coming. He knew you were going to be pregnant. He knows that you were going to conceive, even if it was not what you planned. It's God's plan. And remember Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, plans of good and not of evil. God does not have bad plans for his children. Only the enemy has bad plans for his children. And remember the enemy, the devil, Satan, comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So what is abortion killing? So that is not of God, and that is not something God wants for any of his children. He wants all of his babies to come into this world and shine so that he can get the glory out of their lives. Garbage man, custodian, doctor, lawyer, pastor, preacher. Do you know what I mean? God gets the glory because he's the one who writes the story for every baby that is conceived. So every baby in that womb has a story already written out for their whole life. Their word, the, the Bible says it in Psalm, I think it's Psalm 139, 16. Every day of your life is written. So, so funny. Just when I was telling you about how the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, the video stopped <laughs> and I have been trying everything imaginable to get back on here so I'm going to wrap it up 
and then figure out how to merge it with the other one. And thank God for another video, another opportunity of how we can um, save the babies. Um, so like I said, there are no, there are no um, surprises with the Lord. He knows everything. He knew you were going to be pregnant. He knew you were going to be scared. And he knew that he would be the one to take care of you, just like he did for me. I told that story because a lot of people feel like when people are um, doing these videos that it's only because of whatever, just because. But when I come on to talk about saving the babies, I have a story where God saved me and helped me um, raise my kids, you know, um, really bless me because I had no idea what I was doing and the you know father and family resources at the time I didn't have but God showed me he was with me it wasn't easy a hundred percent but it was fun I was a young mom and I loved doing everything with my kids I loved um, trial and error I remember my daughter was just born first like two days two days from the hospital and I dropped her <laughs> I dialed 911 I was nervous I was so nervous I dialed 911 I was like oh my god I think I heard her da, 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 da. and that 911 operator was so kind and so helpful and she said relax it's okay it happens so I'm telling you these stories to let you know where it might seem like something you absolutely cannot do, God will give you the grace to be able to take care of your baby and raise your baby to be able to be a blessing to so many others, okay? So with that, if you're at a crossroads and you're pregnant and you don't know what to do, keep your baby. God has a beautiful story for you, just like he had a beautiful story for me. God has a beautiful story for how you will be able to raise your children and for them to be able to grow up with the destiny and the purpose that God has for them, okay? Keep your baby. And also, if you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please, today's a great day to do it. Jesus is coming back soon. You do not want to be left behind. You'd rather do life with him than without him. So all you have to do is say a very simple prayer. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and teach me how to live a life that is pleasing to you. In Jesus' name, amen. And I say that last part because the Bible says God is the one who gives us the will and to do of his good pleasure. He gives us the desire to want to live right, and then he gives us the ability to be able to do so. So when you get saved, you're not expected to know it all at one time. The Lord is the one who shows you, directs you, guides you, and he's with you every step of the way. I'm not going to stay on too long because I don't want this video to cut off. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. I pray that... um. It helped every person who is facing unplanned pregnancy to know that you are equipped. God has a perfect plan for you and your baby. And it's all going to turn out great. And you too will have a stories like I do. I've written three books, y'all. And they're all about my walk on how God has blessed me. Even when I didn't want him anymore, he still loved me and he still wanted me. So I'll put that link in if you guys want to check out my books. They're kind of funny because I just talk about my stories and I have so many of them as you can see. Um, but all of them turns to God and his faithfulness and his love and his kindness and how he has brought me to a place of total from a place of total confusion to being totally in love with him and that's my prayer for you okay 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 i'm gonna go father i bless every person that we are listening to this video and i pray that you will help them to know 
that you loved them you were not uh shocked when they became pregnant <laughs> and that you would be with them every step of the way father we bless you we honor you we glorify you we magnify your holy name and I thank you, Lord, that you indeed will get the glory out of this video. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye.